Jess, I'm a senior here at Johnson State College, and this is the new Visual Arts Center, also known as the VAC, and I've been working on sculpture all day. I'm really excited to get going and work on some more, so let's go check it out. We have a lot of space now to display art, which is great. If students created something in class and the teacher wants to display the whole class's work, we'll hang everything down this corridor, which is pretty cool. This is a gallery space, and it can be used for non-BFA students. It's nice being the first group of kids to come in and use everything. We're kind of still all figuring it out, but it definitely feels really special to be the, the people that first experience it all. So this is the black box, which I think is funny. It's not black. And it's great for installation. We're allowed to do, like, anything in here. We are on top of the mountain here <laughs> in Johnson, Vermont. This is a small town with a huge art program. And we're in front of the Visual Arts Center, which is a dream come true. It's a building that's open and light and airy, and we have gallery space. We have two galleries up here. We have wall space. So students are always working and putting up artwork. They're going to see new things just about every day. Well, it's a major addition renovation. We gutted the entire place, but everything's brand new and much better designed. Students are working in many, many different disciplines, so you don't have to specialize in one thing or another. We're a small school, but we've really grown to be very much about the arts. We're really open to experimentation, video installation, digital work, sculpture painting, ceramics, printmaking. It's it is all new, 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 but that's not what makes this place great because we were a place that was really nurturing and felt really good to a lot of people for a long time, which is why our numbers grew and grew and grew. So we're not going to lose that just because we have a new building. We're in the drawing studio and it's awesome. There's great lighting in here. We have a new board to put our uh, drawings up on so we can actually work on them on the wall so we can do big scale, which is really great. We're in the painting and printmaking studio right now. So now we have a really big space for our printing presses and for our solvent baths. the offices for the professors and adjuncts. It's pretty cool, I love the carpeting. This is the new photography darkroom and workspace. It's huge, there's a lot of enlargers. I did a test strip and it looked like this one would be good. So this is a mini Mac lab. We have a Mac lab in another building on campus, but this one allows art students to just quickly pop in and do something. We have a great digital program here. So yeah, a lot of people do digital. So this is the seminar room, which is really exciting because now we have a place where all of our art history classes can meet. You can't make the same line that anybody else has made. Yes. <laughs> Lighting is really wonderful. We have skylights in just about every studio, so there's a lot of natural light, lots of northern light. We actually can see the beautiful mountains here. Because we can either do landscapes by looking out the window, or there's great architecture for learning angles. and Really beautiful drawing spaces and places to work in three dimensions, sculpture and ceramics, where you really need to see well. This is the BFA studio, which I'm not a BFA, but this is a really great place where now BFA students get to work on their show over here and not have to work on it in their dorm room or cart things back and forth from home to here. The ceramic studio, this space is awesome. It's really large, lots of space to store stuff. And this is my favorite, this is a kick wheel. So in our ceramics class, we make our own clay and we can actually mix our own glazes as well. This is the wood shop, which is really cool that's not us separate room from the uh, sculpture studio. The ventilation is, is wonderful. It's self-contained. We don't have dust all over the building. This is the sculpture studio. This is an amazing space. This is probably the best in the building. So this space is really cool. We have really high ceilings, so now we can do sculptures that are huge. We have double doors, so we can really make anything any size. Wow, so you're making a circle? Yep. Right now it's a state-of-the-art sculpture facility. You can build pretty much anything you want. Eventually we'll have a foundry out here. These are ventilation tubes and they move like that too. So this is right outside the VAC, so we can come work outside when it's nice out, which it is today. Open your oxygen. 
like your A. This one? Yep. Love the Johnson view. <laughs> space is in between the ceramic studio and the sculpture studio, so it can be shared. So we needed a room that was quiet. The other students love it. We're all so excited about it. And I've heard non-art students come in here and just be floored and amazed and want to take art classes next year. I feel really happy to come up here every day. And it's just a beautiful building, and I'm excited to be an art student. I think you should check this place out because really there's no place better to do art. We have an amazing campus, a brand new facility with really great materials and a great space. We're small enough that we can attend to the individual, but big enough so that we have great equipment and really good studio space. So it's a really good combination. Johnson's different. It's a very small community. Everybody knows each other. The teachers know you by name. We're going to know you. We're going to know who you are, and you're going to know us, and you're going to really like it. My nickname is Jespro, and they call me Jespro in class. Like, I don't think you could have that anywhere else. And there you have it. That was the tour of the new VAC at Johnson State College. We hope you come join us and work with us. And uh, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go get back to work.